top 10 most interesting catches for 2022. If you're new here, I'm a commercial lobster fisherman from Maine. I share some behind the scenes of where your seafood comes from. I fish primarily for lobsters, and in doing so, we occasionally catch some pretty cool stuff in the traps. We share those with you guys along with uh, what it takes to keep the population in the fishery sustainable. So let's get into it. Number 10, we got a little bird. These things get blown offshore occasionally. We find them flying around the boat. They can't land in the water. The seagulls try to eat them. Uh, so they'll land on the boat to try to rest. When they do, we'll catch them. We bring them in, give them a ride to shore, and let them go. Number 9, we got a monkfish. We get them a few times a year. They are a mean looking fish. This one got my finger while I was trying to give him a snack. Number eight, we got a tagged lobster. It's the first tagged lobster I've ever caught. We ended up tracking it down, calling the number that was on the tag, uh, and it actually came from Canada. It traveled around 80 miles in the past year. Number seven, we found a Maryland blue crabber that seemed to have lost his way. We uh, helped him out and got him pointed back in the right direction. Number six uh, may look ordinary, but it's actually a lobster that is half male, half female. They're very rare. I've only heard of them being caught a few other times. Number five is probably the gnarliest fish that we catch. They're super aggressive and they have a super strong bite. They're called the wolf fish. They are protected, so we have to let them go as soon as we get them. Uh, but they are really cool. Number four is an interesting colored lobster. Got a bunch of yellow spots all over it. Number four is also a yellow calico lobster. Uh, mostly all yellow, really cool. Number three is again another calico, full yellow uh, except for his claws. Really cool lobster, it's actually a female so we gave her a notch and we sent her back into the ocean. Number two is probably the biggest lobster that I've ever caught. Uh, unfortunately, it had lost its crusher claw at one point in time, so it had regrown a new one, so its crusher claw wasn't as big as it should have been, uh, but it was still very impressive, especially if we looked at its body. Uh, we gave the old man a snack. He's probably around 100 years old, and we sent him on his way. Number one is a very unique colored lobster. You can see down its tail, and part of its body is split 50-50 down the middle, half white and half normal color. It was pretty cool. She also had eggs at the time, so hopefully she'll go on to make some babies with these unique colors as well. A lot of my friends along the coast had also caught this lobster, so that was pretty cool. Uh, we gave her a snack and sent her back into the ocean. Follow along for more cool catches.